Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Mr. Team Guy with another episode of Gaming Spotlight. Today I want to talk about an action RPG game called Grim Dawn. It was developed and published by Create Entertainment on February 25th, 2016. It would be a dramatic understatement to say there are a lot of Diablo style games that have come and gone through the gaming market over the years. I tend to go on Diablo 2 being the best for a very very long time, and even it had flaws that irritated me. Where I'm going with this, there's one thing that Grim Dawn does extraordinarily well. It empowers the player to make the character they want to make. You can focus on nearly any damage type or playstyle you like, so long as you do so by building your character in a way that maximizes whatever you're focusing on. You can go back to a wheel of character design over and over and over and still come away with something that feels unique and interesting. There's no flavor of a mom build class, as there is with Diablo 3, whereas whatever gear set has been tweaked for a current ladder season is clearly the best option for an end game success. That doesn't mean Grim Dawn doesn't have some balance issues, it does or that everything is viable. If you try to build around for damage types, you are in for a bad experience. The main draw of any ARPG in my experience is replayability. Your functionality going to be doing the same thing over and over and over again. Regardless of which game you decide to invest your time in, so it really comes down to how much fun that repetition is. For me, Grim Dawn is by far the best option on the market. Every character I build feels unique to some degree. If you want to play an ARPG, masquerading as an MMO, you are better suited to play Path of Exile. Or if you like spandex, grinding the same zone for endless hours and pay to win, you can go with Marvel Heroes. If you had the same experience as I did initially, or you have heard some bad reviews of a game from the past, I implore you to try it out because I seriously doubt you will be disappointed. The loot is cool, the action is fluid, and there are neat concepts that haven't really been explored in an ARPG that I've seen. One example of these concepts include the relationship bars associated with each allied and enemy factions, giving you shop perks for the allies and more difficult spawns for the enemies as the bar increases. Another example is the devotion point system that gives an entire extra layer of character building as diverse as the dual class trees. These celestial ability options allow you to place points into a large selection of passive properties that are part of many skill trees that, when completed, give you a passive skill that you can attach to your main skills. This allows you to get eruptions of fire or healing or poison spikes or life stealing or a huge array of other effects that can be added to the skills you are using. The campaign is very long and there is a great amount of side content along with hidden areas that add to the playtime. I will definitely recommend to check this game out. Okay, this is your boy Mr. Tingo for another episode of Gaming Spotlight. Just wanted to say thanks for watching and have a nice day.